Hello, this is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. The scripture says, love your neighbor as you love yourself. But we don't do that. Why? Because there's nothing governing us. What is going to govern us? God's laws. That's right. God's laws. Laws govern people. The Bible is a book of laws that's going to get us in the right state, make us take the right direction that we need to take. Because without laws, you're, what direction are you taking? A lot of people say, yes, I have the knowledge. I've heard about this truth. But they're not doing anything to change the things that are going on in their community. Have they changed anything? The marching, the processing, that is not gonna change anything because we've been doing that for years and that's never changed our people. What's gonna change our people is God's laws. So the sooner you wake up, the better. The sooner you wake up, black man, black woman, the better it is for you. Why? Because we're a holy people, That's right. according to the Lord. Bring it out! Give me um, um, Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. We're going to read in the Bible what is required of us as a people. The marching, the protesting ain't done nothing for us. That's right. What's going to make change is keeping God's commandments. That's right. God's laws is going to bring forth that change. Right. Right. That's what's going to bring forth change. As soon as you read the Bible and you change your mind according to the ways of God, that's what's going to change. That's what's going to make the things that are going on in your community change. Teach. That's what's going to bring the brotherly love again. That's what's going to stop the whoremongering. That's what's going to stop the adultery. That's what's going to stop the stealing. That's what's going to stop the rioting. The black and black crime. That's what's going to make the change. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, and verse 12. Bring it out. And now, Israel, what does the Lord require? What does the Lord, that God, require of thee? So the Bible is saying, what does the Lord require of us as a people? It says, oh, now, oh, Israel. Read that again. And now, oh, Israel. Oh, now, oh, Israel. You yeah. blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans. Read. What does the Lord that God require of thee. What does the Lord require of us? There's something that the Lord requires of us as a people. There is something in the Bible that the Lord requires of us. And we're going to read about it. Read. But to fear the Lord thy God. A lot of us don't fear the Lord. That's the reason why we go on with our own understanding. That's the reason why we hate our brothers. We hate our sisters. We steal from one another. We cover up one another. We commit adultery towards one another. We kill each other. Read. To walk in all his ways. To walk in all his ways. What does that mean? It means keep the commandments of the Lord. It means keep God's laws. Laws govern people. Laws will govern you as a people. Read. And to love him. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and to serve the Lord meaning keep the laws 
Keep the laws, that's what's going to bring forth change. That's what's going to change the mindset of the people. That's what's going to stop the stealing. That's what's going to stop the, the rioting. Right. That's what's going to stop the black on black crime. Right. That's what's going to bring forth change. Not marching, protesting. That's not change anything. Three. To keep the commandments. To keep the what? To keep the commandments. To keep the commandments of the Lord. God's laws govern your lives. Right. Give me Acts 3.19. We're out here to teach repentance. What does repentance mean? It means return unto the Lord. Return unto your heavenly Father and keep the commandments. That's what repentance means. Change ain't marching and protesting. That ain't doing nothing. That's not going to do anything. What change has that brought to our people? Has that brought forth any change? No! But we're still in that low state. We still have those low jobs, low paid jobs. We're still killing each other as a people. There's no love. Gangs in this area, gangs in that area. Where's the change? What are you going to do to stand up for your people? Dude. If there's anything, it ain't the protesting. It's not the marching. It's keeping God's commandments. Sure, that's that's right. what's going to bring forth the change. Read. Acts chapter 3 and verse 19. Repent ye therefore. It says repent. Return unto the Lord. Change. Change your mind according to the Bible. Read. And be converted. And be converted. It means to change. So once you change your mindset, the community changes. Right. Your brother changes. Right. Your sister changes. Right. Read. That your sins may be blotted out. Because we're in the midst of sin. Give me sin. First John 3 and 4. What is sin according to the Bible? Why hasn't there been any change in the community? Why does the stealing continue? Why does the adultery continue? Why does the whoremongering continue? Why? Because we don't want to repent. We don't feel the But we go to church. But what change has that brought to your people? The pastors are lying to you. They're just taking your money. Read the book of 1 John chapter 3 and verse 4. This is what sin is. Who this saw? is what sin is according to the Bible. Who if saw? we're in the midst of this, there ain't no change. There's no change coming forth from that. Read. Whosoever committed sin. It says whosoever committed sin. Read. Transgressor also the law. You transgress the laws of the law. It's like, it's like being at work. If you go against the code of conduct at work, what happens to you? You get fired. Because it's protocol. It's laws. It governs you. Read that again. Whosoever committed sin. It says whosoever committed sin, meaning transgress the Lord of the Lord, meaning go against the commandments. Read. Transgressive also the law. You transgress the laws of the Most High. That's not going to bring forth change though. Give me um, Psalms 19 verse 7. What does it mean to convert the mind? Change the soul? What's going to bring forth the change in our communities? Because a lot of people are looking, we're all looking for solutions in the society. No, the marching that's been going on. This is happening. No, let's protest. Maybe the change will come forth there. No, the change ain't coming from that. The change is going to come from God's commandments. That's right. Keeping of God's laws. That's what's going to bring forth the change. Read the book of Psalm chapter 19 and verse 7. Bring it out. The law of the Lord is perfect. So a lot of people say, yeah, I'm perfect. No, I strive to be perfect. But read that again. The law of the Lord is perfect. So if God's laws are perfect, if we apply them, we become perfect. That's right. That's the solution. The solution ain't marching. The solution ain't protesting. Please. The solution is keeping God's laws. That's what the solution is. That's what's going to bring forth the change. Read. Converting the soul. Converting the soul. That's what's going to change your mind. Ephesians 4.23. Read verse 22. That's where the change is going to come forth. Not marching. 
Killing your brother ain't bringing no solution. Black and black crime ain't bringing the solution. You're just worsening your state. That's what you're doing. Stealing from another person, no, so that I can get gain. I'll be all right. But what about your brother and sister that's next to you? What about them? What are you going to do to help them? But the change must first come from you first. Right. It must come from us first. And that's why we're bringing out God's commandments today. For you blacks and the specs to repent according to the Bible. Right. Change as a people. That's what's going to bring forth the change in your community. Dude. Three. The book of Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 22. That you put off the concerning... Sorry. Verse 22. That you put off concerning the former conversation, the old man. The old man must change. If you're a smoker, stop smoking. Right. If you're a person that commit adultery, go with woman after woman after woman. Change. That's repentance. That's change. That's you saying, acknowledging your sins and saying, you know what? Lord, I've sinned. Let me change my life around. Let me see the change. Let me change for the better. That's what's going to bring forth the change. Not the marching. How can you march but you've not even changed your mind? Does that make any sense? <laughs> that don't make no sense. You're marching but there ain't no change. Read that again. Verse 22. That you put off the cons of concerning the former, former conversation. Concerning the former conversation. Read on. The old man. The old man. The old man wants to steal. The old man wants to kill his neighbor, his brother. The old man wants to protest and march. They ain't doing no change. The old man wants to continue to smoke. The old man wants woman after woman. The female wants man after man after man. Baby father. Yeah, that's my baby father. That's, that's, oh, that's not according to the Bible. The scripture says marriage is honorable. But if we repented, feared the Lord and returned unto him, those things would be happening. There won't be diseases in our community. There won't be pestilence and all that stuff. But we don't fear the Lord. We do our own thing. We do our own thing and that ain't bringing no solutions to our people. That ain't bringing forth no change at all. Read that again. The book of Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 22. That you put off concerning the former conversation. Put off concerning the former conversation. The filthy conversation. The gossiping. Oh, this person did this. This person did that. And now it leads to social media slander. Dude! Now the person wants to kill you because, no, you talked about me. But you, you don't want to change. You don't love your neighbours, you love yourself. That ain't change. That's not repentance. You ain't repented yet. You can go church all day long. There is no change. Dude! That is not repentance. You've got to come out of the churches and return back to the Lord. Return back to the Bible. Return what is required of you according to the Bible. Right! Read. Which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. To the deceitful lust. You know what the lust is? No, let me kill my brother. Let me kill my sister. No, I'm in a gang. That's a lust. That's a loss, because you get adrenaline feeling from doing those things. Dude! Why to have a weapon in your hand and kill your brother, that is off. That is wrong. Because what's going to happen? What's going to be the judgment? You're going to be, um, you're going to be killed for that. Dude! Because you killed your brother. You take someone else's wife. What do you think is going to happen to you? The Lord's going to bring judgment on you. That's why we're out here to say, change, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The Lord is going to bring judgment onto this earth real soon. Right. So the quicker you change, the better it will be. Otherwise, you're going to get left here behind and burn when those nuclear fires hit this earth. That's right. right. Read that again. Verse 22. That you put off concerning the form of conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. That's where your spirit is, your mind. The mind must change. It says, be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Without the mind changing, nothing in the community changes. It takes for one individual to say, do you know what? I'm going to change my life around according to the ways of God. According to God's laws. That's what's going to bring forth the change. Right. Not marching. Not protesting. That's not bringing no change. 
until the mind changes. Read that again. Verse 23. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. And be renewed. The mind must change. The soul must be, must be converted according to the ways of God. Give me 1 Kings 8. 1 Kings chapter 8. What did King Solomon say that we must do? What did he pro prophesy years, thousands of years ago, what will happen to us as a people? And what will be required of us as a people to change, to bring forth the change? He saw what happened in these days. He saw exactly what happened, what will happen to us as a people. But this is the solution. You want to change? You looking for change? You looking for um, a, a solution? This is the solution that we're giving you to today. This is the change. 1 Kings 8, 44. Read. This is the book of 1 Kings, chapter 8 and verse 44. Bring it out! If thy people go out to battle against their enemy, whatsoever that thou shalt send them, and shalt pray unto the Lord. So, so now there's war going on in the world. There's wars, rumors of wars. When you read, read Matthew 24, it gives you the time of what's going to be going on in during this time that we're in. The events that's going to be going on. Pastors deceiving other people. Taking your money from the churches. Wars and rumours of wars. Pestilences. Didn't a pestilence just happen now? The Covid? That's prophesied in the Bible. That's right. Read. And shall pray unto the Lord toward the city which thou hast chosen. Which is Jerusalem. That's our homeland according to the Bible. Right. That's your homeland. Read. And toward the house that I have built for thy name. Verse 45. Then hear thou in heaven their prayer and now, their supplication. Then, then the Lord's going to hear our prayer. When we change our mind, when we say, do you know what? I ain't going to protest. I ain't going to march. I'm going to keep God's commandments. And that's what's going to bring forth the change in the community. That's I'm going right. to be that living example according to the Bible. Right. That's what's going to bring forth the change. Then the Lord will start hearing our prayers. That's when the Lord's going to start hearkening onto your prayers. Because the Lord ain't hearkening to no one's prayer right now. Why? Because you don't want to change your ways according to the Bible. Teach. Read. And maintain their cause. And maintain our cause. Meaning what? The things that we struggle with. The things that, we, that happen to us as people. The Lord's going to keep us safe from those things. The Lord's going to take us out of those atrocities that we're in today. Read. Verse 46. Mm -hmm. If they sin against thee. Now, that's the thing. If we sin against the Lord now, meaning be continuing the ways of the world, following the things that are done in the world, meaning committing adultery, taking another man's wife, taking another woman's husband, stealing from one another, killing each other, involved in gang, gang activity. No, this is my territory. You can't come to my area. You can't come to my end. That's, that's stupid. But the Lord said, the Lord, the Lord said he made the world for us, for our sake. The Lord made the world for your sake, black man, black woman. So change. Read. Verse 46. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth. Now, not. There's, now there's no person that don't sin. We all make mistakes. We all fall short. But there's an opportunity to change. Now is the time. This is the last days. There ain't no time left. Time is short. You say that the Lord, no, when the Lord comes, then I'll change. Then that's too late. The mercy is done. Now is mercy time. Now is the opportunity to change our lives around according to the ways of the Most High God. Right. According to the ways of the Bible. Read. And they will be angry with them. Now, the Lord is angry with us right now. That's the reason why the things are happening on the earth now. That's the reason why we kill each other. Why? Because he's given us, our, he's, he, the Lord has given us to our own mind, our own mindset. Why? Because we don't want to keep God's commandments. We don't want to follow the laws of the Lord that, he's requ that is required of us as a people. That's the reason why these things are happening on the earth. That's the reason why we hate each other as a people. Because we don't know God's laws. We don't know God's laws. If we saw Christ in one another, there will be no hatred towards one another. Dude! That's the solution. That is change. 
That's making a start on the earth. That's a solution. Read. And deliver them to the enemy so that they carry them away captive unto the land of the enemy far or near. That's what the problem was bringing out earlier. The Bible's our history book. Why? We went into slavery because we sinned against the Lord. That's the reason why we're in captivity today. That's the reason why we're at the bottom today. Why? Because we've not acknowledged our sins. We've not acknowledged our wrongdoings. That's the reason why we're still in a low state. That's the reason why things happen to you as a people. Because there's no repentance. We don't fear the Lord. We don't want to change as a people. We don't want to change our mindset. But yet we want to protest. We want to march thinking that that's the, that's the solution. That ain't the solution. That's not the solution at all. The solution is keeping God's laws. That's right. That's what's going to bring forth real change. Read. Verse 47. Yet if they shall bethink themselves. If we shall remember our wrongdoings that we're doing on the earth today. Read. In the land where they were carried captives. This is the land. This is the land. Wherever we're scattered as a people, that is the land that you're in captivity in. That's the land that you must change in as a people. That's the land where the change, when the change comes forth, you change. The community changes. The violence calm down. Read. And repent. And what? And repent. And repent. That's what the Bible says. And change. Repent. Return unto the Lord. These are the last days. Just like the days of Noah when the flood came. This is the last days. Change your mind and repent. 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 Because time is short. Judges 5 and 11. Is that Alright, read on. Continue. We have sinned and have done perversely. And have done perversely. Meaning what? We've transgressed the laws of the Lord. We've gone against what the Lord required of us. We're just keeping of the laws. Keeping of the commandments. Read. We have committed wickedness. We have committed wickedness. Ain't that going on in the community now? Wickedness. Wickedness is going on in the community. But yet you want to protest and march thinking that that's the solution. That's the change. That ain't no change. That's no change. The change is the Bible. The change is the Bible. It's a book of laws. Read. Verse 48. And so return unto thee with all their heart. With all your heart, meaning all your mind. You're meditating on the Lord. It's bringing an impulse, a discipline in your spirit to say, no, I can't do what's perversely. I can't do what is wrong according to the Bible. Why? Because there's going to be a judgment for that. That's the fear of the Lord. That is the fear of the Lord. That's what's going to bring forth the change. Read. And with all their soul. And with all their soul, meaning all your mind. Meaning all your mind. Judges 5 and 11. So that's what's going to bring forth the change. That's the reason why we're out here today to say, change, repent, return unto the Lord. The judgment is coming on the earth soon. The Lord is about to bring judgment on the earth, just like he did in the times of Noah, when he brought the flood. Nuclear fire is coming onto this earth. So if you don't change, you're going to get left behind. You will get left behind. Read. The book of Judges chapter 5 and verse 11. They that are delivered from the noise of the archers. Get that brother fly. Brother, do you know who you are according to the Bible? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who you are? Who are you according to the Bible? Children of God. Okay, so who's the children of God? We. Who? Black people. Did you hear that? Everybody. You hear that? Everybody. That everyone's the children of God. Who? Who said that? Is that is that is that scriptural? Where? Show me a scripture. See, our people are destroyed. You see, when you don't know God's laws, you're confused. That's right. You're confused. When you don't know God's laws, that's confusion. One person said, we're the chosen people. Another person, no, everyone. The Bible says, Israel is the chosen people. That's right. According to the Bible. Read. Judges chapter 5 and verse 11. They that are delivered from the noise of the archers in the places of drawing water. So this is the place where we're drawing water. This is the place. Read. 
there shall they rehearse the righteous acts. So we have to practice, rehearse the righteous acts. We have to do the laws. We have to keep God's commandments. Read. Of the Lord, of the Lord. Give me Isaiah 34 verse 16. Give me Isaiah 34 verse 16. What does the Lord say about us? What we should do as a people? What we should do? Read. The book of Isaiah chapter 34 and verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord. That's what's going to bring forth the change. When you seek the book, when you open the Bible and know who you are according to the Bible and know what is required of you, read and read and read. Our people don't like to read. In order to get that knowledge of what the Lord is telling us to do, you have to read the Bible. You have to not only read it, but you have to apply it. Read. No one of these shall fail. So not one of the prophecies that's documented down in the Bible will fail. Deuteronomy 28, we built poor slave ships and scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. That happened. That happened. That was prophesied thousands of years ago. And it happened. Read. None shall want her mate. For my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit it hath gathered them. The spirit is God's laws. The spirit is God's word. That's what we have to do. That's what we have to apply as a people. That's what we have to do. That's what's going to bring forth the change. Not marching, not protesting. They bring forth no change. But we have to repent, meaning return unto the Lord. Okay? With all our heart, with all our mind, and with all our soul. Bring all it. our soul. To bring forth that change. That's the solution. That's right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.